Well, welcome back. This is Series 3, Session 4, and we're on the home run. Just patiently keep going through these next exercises and you will be a master. So welcome back to the adventure of the King James Bible. How to find the King James Bible's own built-in definitions. The word is spoken of as truth. No word is truth. It's impossible to have truth without the word. You won't find the word anywhere but in the word. Let's look, verse 8, verse 10 and verse 4 of 2. The pegs are, the umbrella phrase is, is not in us, is not in us, is not in him. And what do we find? Truth, word, truth. Truth is the word. The word is the truth. The word is truth. I write unto you these things. I write unto you no new commandment. That's verse 1 and verse 7. Well, verse 3 and verse 5, Keep his commandments, keepeth his word. His word are his commandments. You know, want to know what his word is? Read it. If you want to know what his commandments are, they are his word. That's the truth. 1 John 1 verse 8 If we say that we have no sin we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. Verse 10 If we say that we have not sinned we make him a liar and his word is not in us. So what's the umbrella phrase? Is not in us. So therefore truth and word are carried together. His truth is his word, his word is the truth. My little children, these things I write unto you that ye sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father Jesus Christ the righteous. I think that these verses are some of the greatest verses myself. And hereby we do know that we know him. If we keep his commandments. He that saith I know him and keepeth not his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. But whosoever let me repeat that but whoso keepeth his word in him verily is the love of God perfected hereby know we that we are in him. Verse 7 Brethren, I write no new commandment unto you, but an old commandment. The old commandment is the word. There are lots of parallel phrases in there. The Bible's built-in dictionary proceeds and parallels verse 7 for us. It sums it all up and says the commandment is the word. So the word is the commandment. All right, let's uh, come to our second practice. We're going to look at Luke chapter 1 verses 1 to 4. And we're going to identify with matching colored pencils or connecting lines identical peg words or letters and we're also going to look for matching sounds we're looking for lines that link together so that they match and uh, you're going to see a, a series of lines drawn across the text that will match words and sounds 
Here you can see lines clearly drawn between as and uh, of those uh, things WH surely or rather you are and why believed ED as from the beginning so you can see how these are matched ED as instructed ED as believed we're going to do the same thing with colored pencils and mark the matching words and sounds so that they stand out more clearly for us takes a little bit of time but um, <coughs> you might uh, have some false starts in this I don't know how you feel about copying uh, pages of uh, the Bible or parts of the Bible uh, this is where a computer program of the King James Bible sort of uh, comes into its own because you could just print out these verses several times and you can try matching them underlining them and words and linking them it's a good exercise it's worth the time so from this simple matching we can end up with the definitions of five different words well there might even be more including difficult words like for as much and wherein actually both of those words I used in my early education but these words are defined Who would have imagined that a simple four-verse section contains so many parallelisms? The Bible is actually a book of parallelisms. It's full of them. Understanding is and comes from line upon line, as the scripture says. Line upon line. Children's vocabularies grow. Uh, we grow in understanding what a book this King James Bible is anyway this simple exercise produces the following definitions example one <coughs> verse two and three we've got marked from thee in verse two and from thee in verse three and so we've got the pegs from the or from the my dictation program doesn't like me saying the from the end from the end as I said my wife doesn't like me uh, teaching children to read anyway here we've got uh, the phrase from the beginning from the very first so what does beginning mean? Well, it means the very first. A second example, if we want to define what the Bible means by to write. So in verse 1 we find uh, taken in hand to set forth in order a declaration of those things. We find set forth in order and uh, we find in verse 3 to write unto thee in order to write unto thee in order so we have a a peg in two and in order so they find they form the cradle and what do we have in the middle well we have set forth and write so to write means to set forth. To set forth means to write. Actually taken in hand to set forth, which is a perfect description of write. Taken in hand to set forth. Two in order, they're the pegs. They're the, 
the cradle of the umbrella phrase and we find taken in hand to set forth to write and of course writing normally is done by hand although these days it's done by computer I suppose you still have to key the keyboard unless you're like me I use a dictation program and I don't have to use my hands at all I just speak to speak to write Actually, as far as God is concerned, what he has spoken and what he has written is identical. And you can judge what he has spoken by what he has written. Not the other way round. You can't judge something as true that he has written by what somebody says has been spoken. But what he has spoken is in order with what he has written. Another example, the third one that we're looking at, is to define the word for as much. And the peg is as. And we've got verse 1 and we've got verse 2. For as much as, even as. So the peg is as, the umbrella connection is as, as, for as much as, even as. So what does for as much mean? Well, it means even. A fourth example, certainty, certainty. Verse 1, of those things which are most surely believed. Verse 4, certainty of those things wherein thou hast been instructed. Now, maybe not whole words acting as the umbrella phrase or the pegs, but certainly we've got certain letters, haven't we? Believed ends in the same letters as instructed. We've got W there, or even better, WH, and we've got ED there. Of those things, WH dot 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 ED of those things wh dot 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 ed gives us a definition surely is the same as certainty there we have our definition The ER and the Y sounds, the surely and the certainty, assist the reader in pairing and understanding these like sounding words. Even though surely is an adverb and certainty is a noun, the certainty. They are made up of certain rhyming letters. <laughs> 